Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over the Jasper.ai chat tutorial. Not only I'm going to show you many ways that you can utilize this, but I'll also give you a little bit more ideas in the process. If you'd like to follow along or test out Jasper, I will leave my link down below in the description. If you click that, not only can you get a free trial, but many bonus words. And keep in mind that Jasper chat is going to be available with either the boss mode or the business plan. And at the time of creating this, you can create as much content with Jasper and it doesn't actually use any of your credits, which is a very big perk if you ask me. So let's begin. Jasper chat's going to be on the left side as you can see right here. And in the beginning, there's going to be some prompts that you can utilize, which will give you some good ideas. However, I have come up with a little template and what I'm going to do is copy each of these. So write a hook for a YouTube introduction about... All right, about the fun of playing golf, in case you haven't seen many of my videos, I love talking about golf. I'm in Florida, used to play a ton. Let's create and see what we get. So are you ready to experience the joy, thrill, and satisfaction of playing golf? Come join us in an exciting virtual adventure and find out why golf is more than just a sport, it's a way of life. Okay, nice little introduction there. Here's a cool thing I wanna show you what you can also do. I'll go through the icons here. You can hide it, you can give it the thumbs up, and give it the thumbs down, you can run it again. I'm gonna try it again just to show you. Okay, looking for a fun competitive sport, look no further. It's exciting, uh, design, enjoyable. Okay, cool. Anyway, so if you want to do that again, you can copy it. Say if I want to copy this and bring it over to another doc, or what you can do is my new favorite, open in document. So what's going to happen, chat is going to be on the left side, and then on the right is going to be kind of like your own Google Doc. So it has it within it. And what we can do is just, uh, we can do more ideas here if we want. Or we can just, you know, keep that over. If we want to paste it over very easily, like we've already done, we can do that. So now that that's there, we can clear the chat if we want to start new. That's one way of doing it. Like I said, I'm going to go on through. Create an outline for an article about taking care of your new kitten. All right, whatever. These are all going to be random examples. So let's see what we get. Okay, so of course, this is going to be good if you're doing any type of article. This will help with writer's block. You can obviously create an introduction paragraph similar to what I did for a video script where you could do the ending, you could do the paragraphs, but here's the outline. Uh, I like this, it's got the intro and then reasons, you know, people should own pets, the benefits. Uh, then we go to the next, probably the H2 here, what to consider before adopting a new kitten. We have caring for it, uh, some stuff going with that, bonding. Uh, they really did a good job with this. Like I said, this is gonna be like a main headline and then like H3, H3, we got H2 again, H3, H3. Uh, so they did a very good job with that. Let's go to our next one. Write a controversial social media question regarding right, if AI is going to replace writers. So if you're big on social media and you're often looking for questions to ask, maybe to get some engagement, maybe to get some talk through your audience, whatever it's going to be, you can use this as well. Let's create some content. With the advance of AI, will writing professionals be replaced by machines? Okay, let's do some more. I'd have to replace it in there. So I just copied it and I'll go again. Can machines with AI truly replace professional writers? Do it again. The future of writing in the hands of artificial intelligence. So as you'll see, this is just going to be various ways of asking the question. Of course, if you just want to rerun it this way, try again. You can do that if you want, or you can just copy and paste it. Could AI overtake the writing profession? Okay, so that's another example. Write the benefits. This is going to be great for uh, copywriting. So write the benefits about using, let's just say, AI for online marketers. Online marketers can benefit from leveraging AI for tasks like content curation and creation, data analysis, customer segmentation, automated outreach, and more. Okay, let's do benefits for a different one, just to get a little bit deeper. Uh, write the benefits about using, all right, for using new golf shoes for playing in the rain. Golfers can look forward to increased traction, improved grip, and enhanced stability when wearing new golf shoes designed specifically for wet weather. Plus, you'll be able to play in the rain with confidence, knowing that your feet are comfortable and protected. Those are some good benefits right there. Okay, so if you have any type of product, or even if you don't have a product, uh, you're talking about the specifics of something of why you just want to use golf shoes. You know, you could enter that in a paragraph, throw out an article, you can use it for a video, wherever it's going to be, you can obviously place that in there. Let's go to this. Address some of the biggest uh, worries and fears when it comes to, I did a separate video about this. This is for like audience research. It works very well. And I'll do something that I talked about similar. So when it comes to building and growing an online business from scratch and enter. 
When it comes to building and growing an online business, the biggest worries and fears are often related to managing finances, finding customers, navigating technology and digital marketing, and standing out from competitors. To ensure success, it's important to develop a business plan that accounts for these potential pitfalls. Furthermore, having a motivated team of people who share the same vision is invaluable in achieving your goals. Not bad. You could probably dig a little bit deeper and peel the onion, as you say. Like I said, I did a completely different video about that, giving you a few more examples. So if you want to Go to emails. This is another one. Write an email subject line about the topic of article writing. Why not? So, and something I want to bring up is that once again, reiterate when you're using the content, when you're using chat to create content, it's actually not using any of my words, which is cool. That's not going to be around forever. So it's like an extra incentive to really try it out and quote unquote, break it. Okay. Take your writing to the next level with article writing tips, discover how to write compelling articles, unlock the power of article writing for success, expert guidance on creating great articles, the secrets to effective article writing revealed articles, writing made easy. Learn more today. I'm not sure why every now and then it'll have some hashtags at the end. Obviously you can just ignore them. It is still in beta. So you know, that could be a thing with that. Those are examples of emails. Write me a Facebook ads headline about, so an evergreen webinar software that generates leads and sales on autopilot. Okay. So that was pretty generic. Maybe because I didn't give it enough. Uh, what's the word text, you know, I kind of repeated. Let's try again. See if we get something different. Okay. Pretty much the same. I think that's on me not giving it enough. Let's see. Let's make it more generic. So Write me a Facebook headline about, let's just do webinar software and see what we get there. Let's break it a little more. Reach new customers with webinar software. Okay, so let's try again. Unlock the power of webinar software to skyrocket your business. Okay, so not bad. The other one, I think I just put in too much information. Uh, in case you haven't seen any of my videos, I talked about this previously. Sometimes if you give it too much and you're doing something like a headline, it almost has like no other way of you know writing anything else because it's got to kind of use what you're doing and then add more. And sometimes it can't add more because it's a headline. I don't know if I explained that well, but there's usually a reason for repetition when you can only generate so much content. So uh, a little blip there, I wouldn't say too big of one, especially for the fact that you know this content's free at the time. Write a paragraph about the topic of, okay, where can we go here? So we have finding a new hobby. So I do want to say that the paragraph templates, one of my favorite, it's cool that it's in chat. You can do anything in chat. It's like just telling Jasper what you want, but, uh, anytime you need a good amount of content, this is great for filling in the gaps for articles. This is great for video scripts, anywhere where you just need a paragraph worth of content. This is really going to help you out. So it can be an exciting and rewarding experience, whether it's picking up a new instrument, learning to paint or getting involved in sports, uh, it can be incredibly satisfying. Uh, hobbies can reduce stress, boost self-confidence and give you a sense of purpose. Very cool. I'll keep that there in case you want to read it. And last but not least, I just put another social media post, uh, about seeing your favorite social celebrity in public. Let's so let's just fill this in about seeing we'll go with Will Smith. I can spell it. There we go. In public. Just had the most star studded experience ever spotted Will Smith in public. What a day. Okay. Fan moment. These are understand understandable with the hashtags, of course, since it's social media, right? Uh, wow, just ran into the one and only Will Smith in public. He's just an amazing and inspirational, as amazing and inspirational as I always imagined. And let's do it one more time. When you see Will Smith in public, it's like a star has descended from the heavens. Okay, so those were just nine different ways that you can utilize chat. There's a ton more. If you look at the prompts here, you can develop a short story, create a list of 10 blog post titles about, help with writer's block on the topic of, write a Facebook ad for the holidays, write a social media caption for, write a poem about, and if you reload this, they'll give you some more ideas. So I'm just going to click this a few times. Some of these are going to be the same. Some are going to be you know different. It's going to be mix and match, but that'll help you get more ideas. Write a song about if you wanted to do. Overall, that's just a jasper.ai chat tutorial that'll show you some different ways that you can utilize it for you know getting more content in various aspects for your online business, your marketing, your videos, your articles, whatever it may be. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I will also have my link where you can test out Jasper with a free trial and many bonus words. And keep in mind, just a reminder, the Jasper chat feature comes with either the boss mode plan or the business plan. That about does it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.